What's up guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this beautiful spring tiered tray snack station. Let's get decorating. Thank you everybody who's been waiting for this tiered tray video. I appreciate your patience. I definitely wanted to get this out way earlier this year, but life happened and it is better late than never. But I want to give a shout out to Jill Dolan. Thank you for keeping me motivated. And I just really appreciate your comments. I love Easter. It's such a fun holiday. And the colors are always really bright and happy. I like doing a combination of a snack station with little treats and also some cute decor. So it's a mix of fun things for the whole family family. One of my favorite things to do with mason jar lids is add a cute piece of scrapbook paper. I feel like it elevates your mason jar so much and it really makes them more of a decor piece. My kids really like peeps. I didn't really care for them that much when I was younger, but I think they're really cute and funny looking, so I love decorating with them because they're so cute and squishy. Here's another fun thing you can do with peeps. Take a skewer and add a couple different colored peeps. I just used a leftover kebab stick, but I would probably recommend making sure it's not pointy so you don't have to worry or using a stick that doesn't have a pointy end just so you don't have to chase your kids around and make sure they don't poke themselves. I think they turned out so cute though. I got this green garland at Target. It was $10 and then I just cut it into two pieces and it fit inside my tiered tray perfectly.
I found this Happy Spring plate at a garage sale. And I just have a little scrap of leftover fabric that I'm adding. I love these wooden eggs. I got these last year from Home Goods. They had the same color scheme as the Easter M&Ms and I don't know, I just love this color scheme. So I really like these guys. I kept this year's design fairly simple. some Easter cupcakes just putting them in this glass dome pastry holder I think it really makes your base foods look so beautiful like it's at a store and it keeps the air from making them get hard and gross too so they look beautiful and they're protected <laughs> turned out it's so like the video make sure to leave it a big thumbs up it helps my channel out so much I appreciate every like I get it's almost summer I thought about sharing this with you guys and just let me know if it's something you're interested in I'm currently doing a version of a green juice cleanse and I've actually been feeling really good for the most part I'm not as strict as some people are when they are on a juice cleanse but it, it helps me shed any unwanted weight I am doing it a little differently than just drinking only juice I'm eating a salad or a salad and soup just for dinner I have been off and on juicing and doing intermediate fasting to keep this bait in shape if you guys are interested in learning more about juicing what I eat in a day when I am shedding weight let me know if that would be something you're interested in and if it is something you're interested in let me know what you'd like to know the most whether it's details about juicing, intermittent or intermediate fasting, and just general health tips. Whatever you guys are curious about, just drop a comment below and I will do my best to answer your questions and I will make a video covering all that kind of good stuff. Also, if you have any weight loss health tips that are working for you, I would also encourage you to share them in the comments below. I'm always excited to learn new things and I know even though my channel is still small, I like going through the comments of different people's video and I really like how it can turn into a discussion and a place of inspiration for everybody. So if you have any tips, feel free to share them below. If you guys are interested, I will share some pictures of myself. It's been about a year and I have lost between 25 to 30 pounds since then. That was after my last pregnancy. My daughter is two and a half now, but as you know, losing pregnancy weight, at least for me, it does not happen overnight. It took me a good year plus to get down to where I was and then I wanted to go even further and I just wanted to see how much further I could get down in a healthy way that I still felt satisfied and happy. I can be really sensitive to change so I have to make sure I 
have a little something so I don't go wacky and cry about everything. I don't know if you guys can relate to that. I definitely get hangry. <laughs> I hope you found today's video inspiring, motivating, and your week is filled with peace, love, and fun. Happy Easter! Oh, is it just me or did it come a little early this year? Thanks for watching.